Guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Select action figure review on the Diamond Select Toys Marvel Select and Mortal Hulk. If you're trying to get your Marvel Select figures, you can do so at Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new here, as well as the notification bell. And this is a hefty figure. Oh man, it looks so dope already. Get that radioactive symbol right over there. It says Immortal Hulk Special Collector Edition action figure on this side. Oop, I just ripped the box a little bit, but you can see Hulk right over there. And then on the back, you get a couple of product shots and a bunch of comic book panels in the background. There's a read up over here. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Not much more on the side or on the top or on the bottom, so let's get Get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> and here is the new Hulk figure out of the packaging, and this may be the very best Hulk ever. I'm not totally sure about that right now. We'll find out. I did get this standing on one foot on the rotating base. I will show that off later on in the video. I want to talk about the things that I like and things I don't like. But first, let's get a closer look at the accessories. You get two heads, you get two sets of hands, not a whole lot of accessories, but a ton of plastic with this figure. And the hands look pretty good. However, I don't really like that. You However, I wish we had a little bit more detail over here. I always like it when the Hulk fingernails are all chewed up and hella nasty. It looks a little too smooth for my liking. If they painted them a different color, I would have liked that too. But I do like the fade that we're seeing with the green, so it doesn't look too bad. A lot of veins right over there, and you can see the wide open hands right here. I gotta say, the inside part of this hand looks weird though on the palm, right? Whose hand looks like that? And there's some extra wrinkles there that I don't think should be there. Not looking really bad at all. Just, yeah, something about the fingernails are throwing me off. Like, they look too clean. Yeah, you know, they should be a different color and nasty looking. I don't know. But I do like the fading green. That looks really awesome. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I honestly did not know where this head sculpt came from, and big thanks to the man, the legend of the ruckus, for hooking me up with the info behind this Cosmic Hulk head sculpt right over here, which appeared in The Incredible Hulk's 606, which I read. Uh, this is basically based off of a machine that is empowered with the power of Cosmic, so it's actually a Cosmic Hulk, and uh, yeah, Banner and Scar use this to defeat Doctor Doom, make them all dumb. But yeah, I really like this head sculpt a lot. It looks very very cool. I love all the beautiful sculpt and silver paint apps right over here. I guess it could have a little bit more paint detail in it, but it, I think it looks dope. The teeth look great. I like how that eye looks over there. Kind of tricky to see the red dot in it, but yeah, you can see it right there. Looks pretty good. And there's the other side of the face. Got a little bit of the thin eyebrows. I really like the hair on these head sculpts. They use this very dark green color. It doesn't have any paint detail in it. It's just one solid green, but it is sculpted out very well and it looks really good. And I like that color. So that's pretty dope. And it looks good on the other head sculpt too. The hair sculpts are very similar. And then this is the Immortal Hulk head sculpt, uh, which the Ruckus was saying was the very first appearance look, but later on his look had changed. And I really like this head sculpt a lot. I just don't really like how he's looking up like all the time that always kind of frustrates me with figures in general but I really do like how the hair looks the face and everything and he's got much larger eyebrows and stuff and the teeth look amazing I really like that it's got a little you know a little like extra like orangey color right there on them kind of making them look a little bit grimy which I don't mind now looking at the rest of the figure I really like the build of this guy like I really like how all the muscles were sculpted and everything it looks fantastic and there are some things I wish that were here like for instance the chest just looks a little empty to me um, I'm sorry Juan but I guess the nipples are kind of there but not really and I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more of like a skin texturing, maybe a little bit more veins going on or something. It just feels a little empty on the chest area, but I really like how the green paint fades in and out. That looks really cool. I do like that. The arms look really good. Again, a little bit more veins would have been nice to see. I don't like that little splotch right there, but I'm very happy with the way the green fades uh, from the lighter green to the darker green and back and forth like that. Just looking at the back of the arms, looking pretty good. Get that massive Hulk back looking amazing so yeah a lot of great muscles sculpted throughout on this thing i mean it looks really impressive gotta make sure these hands are ported in all the way but i love what they've done here the pants look great i really like how the pants came out you get the button right over there painted with the copper color you get this nice fading in and out of the different purples 
I'm really happy with that. There's your Hulk butt. You get some stretching of the pants. I love what they've done with these knee joints right here. This is something that I've been wanting for a long time. I've complained about in the past, but I'm very happy to see that we don't have green creeping into this part of the joint. So the joint is actually painted multiple colors. So you can see the purple right here and right here and just the green on the knee. And I like that a lot. I think that's like really the most ideal situation. I'm really happy with that. Then you get the tattered sculpt right over here at the bottom around the calves. Nice muscle definition, huge meaty Hulk calves right here. Then there's looking at the bottom of the feet. You do get peg holes back there. And then you get the Hulk toes. There's the bottom of the Hulk feet right there. Again, I think it could have been nastier. Like really, I wish they'd gone like, you know, with some really chipped toenails and everything. I like when the Hulk feet are all really gross and nasty. Maybe painted them up a little bit, but you know, as far as the sculpt goes, not bad. Just wish the toenails had more detail. Now, I really like the articulation on this figure. The head sculpts have the same amount of movement over here. So you can turn them side to side. They're on double pin ball joints right there. They'll look up just that much you will get a little bit of gappage over here which i do get irritated by sometimes you get some head pivoting looking pretty good and he will look down that far uh, shoulders will move outward just that far i tried moving them outward further and i got a little bit of denting over here so i'm not going to push it more than that moving the arms outward one thing i wanted to mention though is that you can get them moving forward and you can get them moving forward a whole lot more so than you can on the marvel legends 80 years hulk that's one thing that's always kind of irritated by with this figure is that he can't move his shoulders forward more than that they always stick outward but with this big old guy you can move those shoulders moving inward right right so neither of them you can get a hand clap going or anything but still it's just you know a little bit more range of movement right there uh, the biceps are a little bit tricky moving you're gonna see that this top bicep part is gonna run into this part of the shoulder muscle but you can turn it right there you get a single jointed elbow and it, um, yeah, it's about 90 degrees and then all the hands turn side to side and they do hinge up and down you do get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side you get some Decent diaphragm pivoting right there. And as far as crunching forward, it'll only shift forward a little bit and back that much. You do get a waist cut over here. And then the hips move outward that far. He will kick forward that much back a little bit you get an upper thigh cut and then you get double jointed knees as i showed earlier the ankles do move down they don't really move up that much and he has beautiful ankle pivot and to measure out this hulk figure you can see that he is standing very tall you're looking at around 10 inches and for a select hulk comparison we have our gladiator hulk or planet hulk or world war hulk i always get those three names confused and then we have our first appearance hulk figure we have our new immortal hulk and then we have the first marvel select hulk which was the very first marvel figure i ever reviewed on the channel and then we have the invincible hulk or the Sylvester hulk as i like to call it and you can see with a lot of these other hulks we do get a lot more detail on the skin like especially with these three over here at the first appearance and this new mortal hulk kind of have the same kind of texturing going on so i guess it's just based off of the reference and the material that they're basing the character off of and then here's the new hulk figure next to our marvel select thing figure i wish this figure was still a little bit taller i don't want him to be as tall as the hulk and then to compare our new Hulk figure and with some Avengers figures we have the Thor with the epic spinning Mjolnir and then we have Iron Man and Captain America I believe it was Dylan who sent me this just want to say thanks again I think that was like nine years ago but anyway he does scale very well with these figures no I think it looks pretty dope and then here's the Immortal Hulk next to the Marvel Legends 80 years two-pack Hulk and they are both sculpted by Gentle Giant you could kind of see a lot of similarities between them like especially with the elbow cuts right over there and the paint apps look very similar to each other i really love both of these figures i really like how huge and massive this hulk is for the marvel legends line and then this is a little bit more trimmed down hulk right over here i'm not going to get into a full-on comparison between the two of them i still really like the articulation on this one more so than the marvel select obviously but you know the whole size of that hulk i don't know if i'm going to make a whole comparison video between these two i know unparalleled universe did so i'll put a card over there if you want to watch that and then i wanted to show this immortal hulk figure next to a sasquatch figure we have the Toy Biz Sasquatch right over here. I didn't want to take down my Hasbro one because I have a cool display going on on my X-Men shelf. But anyway, it would be great to see Marvel Select come out with a Sasquatch figure, right? So that you could have your Hulk fighting against Sasquatch. That would be dope. I mean, these two do not scale. And then I want to show off the Immortal Hulk next to a couple other Marvel Legends figures. We have the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut and the 80 Years Iron Man. And I don't think these really scale together perfectly. However, I do think with, you know, bending the knees and getting the proper angles, you could make him fit into a Marvel Legends display i think it could work and then here's the immortal hulk next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time deadass spider-man <laughs> 
No. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people that support this content via the Tron and membership. If you're in the position to do so and you'd like to support, check it out, link below or hit that join button. This figure is a lot of fun. Ah, it is so freaking cool looking. I gotta say, it's just been a lot of fun taking pictures of this guy. I had a lot of great times taking photos and getting him into different poses and stuff i mean for a marvel select he is very poseable it's just i have little gripes here and there i just wish there was a little bit more sculpted detail that's typically what i look for in marvel selects the pants look great and the feet are very good too just wish that the chest and torso had a little bit more going on as far as veins and texturing goes but other than that i really like the figure a lot just very minor complaints with this guy i think it's a dope ass figure and for the price point of around 25 bucks it, depending on where you buy it from it could be 25 it could be 30 I'm gonna give this Immortal Hulk figure a sun rating of. I mean, it really is awesome, dude. It's just a dope ass piece. So, if you get a chance to pick one up, get it. I think it's a. I really think you're gonna be happy with it. So, I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. Yep, I plan on posting again on TikTok. So, yeah, look for that. And I won't be dancing. Definitely won't be dancing. I can't dance. But anyway, I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.